So think about a time you went to a parade. When you're at a parade, you're kind of on the side of the road, sitting there, standing there, and there's floats, right? And the floats kind of come up, they're here for a moment or two, and then they go by. You're still here, you're still on the side of the road. Next float kind of comes up, here for a little bit, and then goes by. You're still here on the side of the road. Some of the floats are loud, some are fun, some are boring, and they're just kind of continuing to go by. Well, thoughts can work like this. But they don't always work like this. Let me give you an example. In this example, I'm going to do a practice, just a basic aware of my breath, aware of my body practice. But I'm going to be saying out loud what normally is a silent experience. And in this practice, every time I raise one of these, I'm having a thought in my mind. It's like a float in the parade. So I start and feel my feet on the floor, my breath kind of settling into my chest. I wonder how I did on that test earlier today. Feel my shoulders tighten a little bit, kind of relax. Lunch was delicious today. Feel my knees kind of open up, breath moving through my stomach. It's a beautiful day outside. Feel my breath again, all the way into my body. Now let me give you another example. Okay, so here's the second example. Standing here, feel my feet on the floor, feel my breath kind of moving into my chest. I wonder how I did on that test earlier today. There was like a couple questions that like didn't go so well, right? If they didn't go so well, am I not gonna get the grade I want on this test? If I don't get the grade I want, like how's that gonna look at my transcripts? Am I even gonna get into the college that I wanna get into? How, what sort of changes do I need to make? Like this is not going well. All right, so what'd you notice? What was the difference between these two practices? Did either of them feel familiar? So one of the profound differences between these two practices is in the first example, there was the ability to notice that a thought is coming up. There was some space, and I could choose where to put my attention. And I chose to put my attention back on something that was happening in the present moment, sensations in the breath, sensations in the body. Whereas in the second example, one thought just gave rise to the next, and the next, and the next. So we call this being in a thought parade. And it's totally normal, it happens to all of us. So the power is knowing when it's happening, and then we can choose what we're doing with our attention.